I've seen a lot of cars blow up on dinos. All right, so today is gonna be so much fun. Welcome back to the HP Tuners channel. We are going to finally dyno tune C10 Slayer. It's hooked up to the hub dyno right now. Alex with Pites Performance is here. He's gonna be in the HP Tuners program the whole time, adjusting as this thing's running live. So you guys will be able to see it. But uh, it's just all fun. So let's, let's get this thing warmed up. Let's see what it's gonna make and let's have some fun. The C10 Slayer, baby. <laughs> 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 and uh, what's funny is everybody goes by that. Yeah. They I all talk, it's not, any, not to birdie truck, not, not, it's, it's the Slayer. How, yeah. you know, everything's Slayer. What's the C10 Slayer, yeah. Slayer, Slayer? I don't even know how we came up with a name. I actually didn't know what to name it. And then, it's probably every time we race, I slay you. So you're just used to hearing Slayer. See, usually people that can't race talk like that. Yeah, or never have. <laughs> yeah, or never <laughs> uh, I taught him! You know, days like this oh, are so always exciting. Uh, a little bit scary, because you, you never know if the engine is going to come apart. And that's why we didn't dyno it before we went to the SEMA show, because then we'd be putting another motor in. So we get the thing, you know, tuned real close with the HP tuner system. And and now today is, is a big day. So if the motor doesn't blow, it's going to be a great day. I don't think it's going to blow. I mean, these things are pretty bulletproof. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I got, I guess I got butterflies. We've got a lot of people going to work on it. All I know is when we're done, this thing's going to be crisp at every single RPM. And we're going to max out the horsepower to the pulley that we're, we're you know, we're pushing air and fuel into the engine. And everything's done through this right here. So you could change this smaller, bigger, and change the boost, change the horsepower quick. You could change your pulley and... You know, this, this motor will handle up to 2,000 horsepower. So you just pump more air and fuel to build that horsepower. But right now, we have it set. It, you know, we should be close to 1,000 horsepower. So we'll see what happens. What's, what's important about the hub dyno? I've never been on a hub dyno. So the, the hub dyno is different from a, what everybody's used to as a roller dyno. Uh, so the roller dyno just has a big, massive roller that weighs X amount. Mm -hmm. And you strap the car down and the tires spin that roller. Well, the problem on higher horsepower stuff is traction, right? Like it's wanting to spin the tires on the roller and it just, it's, it's hard. Um, this actually bolts to the axle. So the hub dyno, it bolts to the hubs. So there is zero slippage. Gotcha. Um, the other thing is we don't have a big roller that we're spinning, right? So this thing here uses electricity and it basically is a big break. So we just tell it, hey, we want the axle to spin this fast and that's it. And it will hold it at that acceleration rate. So we're about to fire it up for the first time. This is Alex with Pipe Performance. He's a madman in the computer. He's like a stink scientist. Uh, something like that. <laughs> But this is the warm-up, so from here, it's just gonna get better and better. So we'll let him do his magic, and uh, it's cold. They just turned on the fans. It's like 30 degrees outside right now. Uh, we checked the cold start. Data looks pretty good. We're gonna make some throttle adjustments on the linkage, but other than that, we're ready for a part throttle tuning. Oh God, part throttle. Yeah, do you hear that part throttle? Sounds so fun, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> part throttle, Alex! You're like, uh, yeah, I usually don't work with people with energy like that. It's good. I'm, I'm, just excited. I'm just antsy, dude. Let's freaking do it. Just I know. It. It's always, you just wanna just send it first time go but you know i'm just scared to hurt it uh, but we got you so we're good let's do this yeah let's what could it. go wrong <laughs> what could go wrong <laughs> kind of feels like christmas it is christmas <laughs> i know but when you're waiting for a present you're like wake up and I your heart's going kick, 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 kick. well it's hard as we built this truck for nine months you know and to finally see your baby take off oh. and run i mean that's just yeah i'm excited and then we got Alex with HP Tuners, man. He's, I like how he uh, just knows everything. It was funny standing back listening to everyone. I, I just kind of pulled back because everyone's talking all these crazy numbers. And 
like, all right. It's interesting, though. It's so it's so neat how you could get in there on that tune, and you just you could change every every RPM. You could see the air fuel. I love the whistle. That's a good whistle. You can just hear how good like the, the whistle sounds. I didn't load it up a bunch because I'm not trying to go crazy here right now. Just wanted to see what it was going to do. But yeah, I mean, the O2s are bouncing just like they should. Because they should oscillate. Mm -hmm. When they're oscillating, that's when you know you're right 14, 15 AFR. So, or one lambda. So yeah, looks good. So what, what's crazy is Alex tuned all this from his house on HP tuners. And it's obviously nice having him here today in case there's any problems or just, just to be here because it's, it's a lot different when you're tuning from home rather than being in the driver's seat. So uh, what he's saying is the tune that he did at home is, is right on the money, yeah, which is I mean, awesome. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'll say like we, we've dealt with remote tuners before and Alex was definitely by far the best. That's why I'm just glad Alex, Alex is here and, and uh, HP tuners had you because I didn't know anyone else. And something like this scares me because if you have someone do something wrong you know yeah <laughs> oh i've been around. we've been we've experienced it i know i mean i'm still terrified <laughs> <laughs> alex don't i didn't hear that, I didn't hear that. Uh, i'm gonna do another part throttle test just a little more load this time just kind of load up a little more see what it does just to make sure and then we'll do we'll go to wide open throttle moment of truth bo -bo 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 moment of truth you guys are all So it didn't even hit boost, really? Yeah, yeah, like one pound. Okay. Yeah, basically we're just looking at all the part throttle load right now, getting up to like going from about twenty percent load, I'd say, to about one hundred percent load. Anything above one hundred percent load is going to be boost. Right? Awesome. So yeah. So that's what we're about to do. The the blower sounds so friggin' badass. It just whistles. Can you hear it in here? No. Oh yeah, she's rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. So yeah. So in the HP tuner program, if you guys can see the camera right here, there, there's just He's going through and he's data logging, reading everything that's happening. And that's what's cool with HP tuners is you could go through and he could literally change anything he wants electronically. Yeah. yeah, so like with the scanner, especially the cool thing about the scanner, this is a big benefit of HP tuners versus other softwares that I've used, is the fact that I can like show it exactly how I want to see the data, right? So yeah. it's very user programmable on the end. So you can look at gauges. If you don't like so gauges, get rid of the gauges. You can look at graphs and look at that data, replicate the tables that are actually in the VCM editor, which is what actually what you use to tune mm -hmm. the car, right? So you take that table, you replicate it in the scanner, and then like the X and Y axis values, right? Yeah. And then you look at that data and you can take that data, you can literally copy and like paste special, multiply by percent. So you can have that specific cell that you hit when you're testing and then you can modify that cell by that amount of percentage you were mm -hmm. off. And and for anyone that you know has their own car that don't even know what Alex just said, is is it's very user friendly. So like like you could be an expert like Alex that does this every single day, or you could just be starting, plug in your car and actually see all live data just like this. So that's what's cool. Obviously Alex has crazy experience, so he's he's most of you guys are like, what did he just say? <laughs> But that's just experience. So we're just gonna let them keep going. And uh, again, this is a, it's gonna, we're gonna have to do multiple passes. He's gonna have to stop, look at the HP tuners, and then we just keep going and going until the end of the day. I, I have that effect on, when I, everybody puts me on camera and they're like, uh, that's too technical. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's, this is what Alex does literally every day. So his brain is just like so in, in keen to what this is that you know, a lot of people don't understand numbers and things. I don't. That's why I have Alex. And so, uh, yeah, just have someone that's smarter than you and then you don't ever hurt anything. You blame it on someone else. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That was fun. He's only made like uh, like maybe not even three quarter throttle pulls yet. So not even that. Like half. Just scary. It's like anything. 
It's, it's, your, it's uh, your baby, you know. That's that's our baby out there. So it's like. Well, and then everything the pull everything set up for, at least what we should be at a thousand horsepower. So. I mean, this motor can handle a lot of power. It's just scary when you put that big of a whip on there. You don't know what's going to happen. That's a five liter, so I mean that's that's a big boy. And it's, bad. it's just exciting. It's going to get loud. No, we're going to have no problems. I hope. It does. The wine on it, <laughs> it's in wine. You'll hear it coming down the street. You'll hear the whipple before you hear the exhaust. Oh, by far. You hear that you hear it now at Idle. Yeah. He's playing it safe so we don't hurt anything. So on this one, he's going to put a little more gas to it. He just added a bunch of timing, so we'll see what it does. All right, that made a lot more power. 672. That, that made a whole 100 horsepower more. Holy cow. So it went from 5 to 672. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we didn't know how I got it. <laughs> so 672, so we're sitting about 800 at the crank. Yeah. So he made one little change just now, and it made over 100 more horsepower. So that's this exciting. It's, you know, it starts low to be safe, and now it's just going to keep going. We're sitting about 800 horsepower right now at the crank, so that's that's a good sign. Man, my heart's going. This is fun. Yeah, big dog. You could have given him a bigger seat. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what, what are we at? How are we feeling? Uh, we're just about 900 horsepower. It's running really well. I'm super happy. And honestly, this is a win all around, you guys. This is great. So we, we, we think we should, for pump gas, on what we're doing, I, I mean, mean you, are we pretty much maxed out for pump gas? Like, should we order a smaller pulley? Because we're only at 14 pounds boost, right? Right, only 14 pounds of boost. But honestly, if you just want to jump in this truck and drive it, you want to drive something to California right now, you could. Right, that's the thing. Like this is good, good and gonna be really good all around horsepower. It's gonna be safe. You can go beat on it and beat on it, do burnouts, whatever you want to do. Do your dirty thing and <laughs> So do you feel it went pretty good today for the for Dino Day? I'm extremely happy with it. It couldn't have went any better. To be and and so like where the truck sits right now, I mean if we wanted to push it. We, well, we if would, we did, we if we wanted to go to the drag strip and have a separate tune, I mean, what, what are you saying? You run E85 or something? Yeah, gonna... just even on this 14 pounds boost, again, I cannot stress that enough. It's only 14 pounds. This thing can make like 30 pounds of boost, and you're, that blower will take it, right? Yeah. On 14 pounds boost even, just with E85 alone, we could push it harder and probably pick up another 100 horsepower just on changing fuel, right? So... If you guys really wanted to, we could do multiple tunes and stuff like that. It just is not. To. We're not going to. I'm just racing. thinking if we ever went to like did a race or something mm -hmm. like that, it'd be fun to like yeah. have it max. But for now, I mean, it's a crate motor. I know from Chevrolet Performance B15 and a blower on it, and we're pulling up to the pump. I, I mean, I'm pretty amped. Yeah. It sounds so <laughs> unreal. Yeah. It's uh, on the awesome. outside. It sounds <laughs> sick. All right, let's get it off. I want to go do a smoky show. You want to see a little burnout in your life? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> no, a little burnout? We got four tires. You guys want to see a burnout?
was fun. We got some testing. No, this is good. <laughs> this is good. This is the first run ever. Today was awesome. Oh, it was today, scary. Yeah. Scary, but awesome. We, uh, we, you know, we've never really ran the truck before. I mean, we ran at SEMA, but it was more like idling because we didn't want to hurt anything. And man, I, I, I've been, I was nervous last night going to bed because I'm like, man, I don't, you never know what's going to happen. And uh, it went way better than expected. It went way better than everyone expected. Yeah. And being able to use the tune that HP put in this, I mean, we're literally running this beast on pump gas. Yeah, and it's cool to have Alex. You know, Alex is like a mastermind with with everything he does, and he tunes every day. And to have him here, it, it was just, I, I'm just stoked he was able to make it here. It means a lot, it really does. And uh, na nice. now the trucks, I mean, it literally is ready to Go shred. Do, go do burnouts and shred tires. I mean, that's what it's built for. So, Michelin, thank God. They sent us a lot of tires to do burnouts, like a lot. <laughs> like a lot, like a C train. A lot. And, uh, you know, it's just, I can't wait because it's just me and my pops. We're about to have some fun and, and really just kind of, you know, put some smiles on people's faces, maybe r random in public or whatever we're doing, and just uh, have a good time. So, it's. The plan is is whether we're going to race this thing in like some type of autocross or something or do burnouts. It's just we're going to enjoy the tires. <laughs> yeah. And the fun thing is, I mean, they, they are, I think they're the biggest, widest. They're huge. Tire. 14 inches wide. That you could get. And and they're not cheap tires. Uh, every smoke show is going to be kind of expensive. Uh, you know, it's in the upwards of $4,000. So, But... We're going to put a lot of smiles on a lot of people's faces. I mean, we're, we're going to go on tour with HB Tuners, and, and we're going to hit some events this year, and we're going to have some fun. It's time to have fun now. It took us about nine months to build this thing. Now it's time to enjoy it. All I can say is smoking. <laughs>